welcome to Concussion Talk Podcast. This is episode 75. I'm Nick Mercer. And I'm Erin Guilfoyle. And we're just going to talk about both, both what's going on this week really, which is, for me, I'm doing a standardized patient thing with uh, my med school, and Erin will, Aaron will talk about that. And, uh, and this, uh, so like I said, it's episode 75, and I was looking ahead of time to see what the uh, anniversary thing, I know like gold is like 50, anniversary 50 and silver is 75 silver 25 is silver and uh, electrum is electrum is golden is gold and silver alloy so <laughs> it could be that but it could also be a uh, diamond but which is now 60 which is boop. but anyway that's just beside the point but uh anyway yeah uh, yeah 70 it's episode 70 episode 75 so that's pretty exciting pretty good stuff so pretty great yeah. yeah so you mentioned to me earlier like the mun med school has a standardized patient program and you've yeah. been in that since 2018 2018 yeah yeah and i just i just i didn't know anything about it but uh my doctor who is actually it's a high school friend but more like she's a friend she's like my one of my best friend in high school his sister's friend so we kind of knew it and then eventually as you Say more time, St. John's. Oh, Gazunta, Darren, you mute yourself. Um, <laughs> Aaron's got a bit of a cold. Um, no. and uh, so, 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 uh, yeah, so we, so, anyway, she's, and she, and she's my doctor now. She said that, uh, that the Mun, she's obviously a doctor and she teaches it at, uh, Mun Med School and that the health sciences, which is the main hospital here in St. John's, has this. A program for med students and uh it's uh you just go in and you're just i just i've had i have enough enough problems with like with my keep with my brain drain and then that's why she mentioned it to me and then i had cancer so that was even more more exciting and uh so but as um this is all i'm doing now they do uh, second year students from um, from the med school here they you could be in is just as this in the fall term it's just neurology patients awesome that's what i'm doing tomorrow my first session session is tomorrow which is monday because we're recording this on sunday i'll put this out on tuesday so they'll have done this by the time they hear it but i think i'll have another one but then i go back in the winter and do a do a dip floor like a one that's just everything and just i'm just a patient they I figure out not figure out but they take my history and stuff so they asked me like what i what my history is and and then they would do some physical tests and stuff. So my history takes a while. And they ask you know, if, I'm on, if I'm on taking any medication or if I'm doing anything, anything of, you know, just general history that doctors should, should know. My social history, some of that, and uh, my social, con- social circumstances now, and my medical history. And uh, tomorrow, apparently... Which is good because this will be on Tuesday after they've done this. But the doctor probably wants me to want all of us, all of us neurology patients, so they they they're confined in what they can, what the what the zero and the students will zero on. But uh, to not say, not give our history as in, as in I have a brain injury or I have a other I've learned learned about some other neurological conditions, which I'll. Mentioned after I asked you, ask you questions about this after, but uh, I don't want to, you know, say any other conditions. I don't that, you know, give people a, anyway, that people will get tell people to invade privacy sort of thing, eventually. Um, and uh, so they just want they just want the students to figure out what uh, what was like after all, and I tell them what happened, not what what happened, and and how I'm feeling and stuff, and what I noticed, my symptoms symptoms. Or if they figure out what happened to me, that's oh, that's okay. that. But that's new. In the past, it's just been it's just been like, keep okay, right here, and I'll say oh, I had a brain injury. You know. Hmm. And Interesting. Now, so it's like a training program for them. It's, it's, it's totally. It's just a, it's it's just training. Like it's, it's not a test. It's not like it's not like graded on it. They go in there with there yeah. are five, six. I don't know. I don't know how big the hoops are now and. And uh, they went with the with the tutor, which is a doctor, a doctor mm-hmm. slash you know, based prof. They're all profs, not prof, doctor slash instructor. 
and they went and they asked me history and did some tests and the doctor will say, oh, he think about this and about this and check this, check his eyes, check his range of movement, check his, you know, and ask him, why did he, why did he, why does he do that? Why does he, does he, does he live alone? Does he, does he walk? Does he, can he do this? And they're like, oh yeah, right. Last questions, but of course they always ask these, they, they're, they're always very good and they always cover everything in the questions basically, but uh, you know, a doctor, the tutors are to, to guide them towards those questions and they'll give them some tips about what to look for and instead of doing this test, like one eye, one hand, I wish this is, we're doing this on the audio, but if you're doing video, do it cover, like cover one eye or, and they did the pupil size, right? They dilate, mm. the, you know, check your, the light in my light in the next eye, the, 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 the pendulum thing or something thing which nobody can see because Aaron and I can see because we're talking to each other via video follow <laughs> but uh, no one else can see I'm doing dipping the doing the U fried eye with a pen light but uh, they do that sort of thing and the doctor will say just do do this or or to test this nerve try this this is easier you don't need to do that that's makes it more complicated and just do this and the tips for and stuff like that so it's a, mm -hmm. you learn a lot just by I mean, just by being I I'm big. I'm a, I'm 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 basically a doctor. Is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm big, yeah. For how much you've been around them, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So through it too, like all the students, they basically get a turn going through, and this time they're gonna have to try to figure out what happened. That's but that's my understanding. I'll find out tomorrow. But huh. what's been, what's been they I mean, what happened is they go in. They say, "Who's gonna do history?" And then one person or two people will say, I'll do history. And then they'll ask me questions about uh, what happened, basically. And then, mm -hmm. or what, what have you noticed? And uh, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you move your left arm? Can you move your right arm? Can you lift this? Can you bend over? Can you do blah, blah, blah. And then, then they'll say, who's going to do physical? And then well, those before, they'll say, who's going to do medical? Who's going to do history? Who's going to do physical? And then they'll do, like, all that down, you know, Examining room, examination room, like which is just doctor's office, and the lad on the examination table, and they'll ask me to, you know, like one one thing they well they I they do it the the whole like run my like one foot for my knee to my leg leg and down mm -hmm. some of that, and then like they also like if you try to resist my arm pushing your arms apart and like try to squeeze my arms together, try to. Touch my, you're touching your finger off your nose and off my finger and then off your nose and all this light and all that stuff. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the sort of standard passed up. But they'll they'll do different bit different stuff tomorrow. But the uh, neurology is specifically just neurology patients that are going tomorrow. And I I guess they know that. But I mean, I'm supposed to just say, which is fine now because they don't know. I don't. They're not gonna hear us till Tuesday if they even if they do hear. Which I'm not. Too kind of stay well because I don't get any listeners in St. John's, but uh, but um, yeah, they'll go in and they'll just say, like, they'll and they'll just, what am I saying? Yeah, they'll, they'll just like, it's just, you know, they'll ask me, like, you know, why are you here, or or you know, whatever the better way of saying it. We'll bring what brings you to, uh, to my office, but it'll mm -hmm. be a bunch of big like six of them, and then I'll say, oh, you know, I woke up, or I'm in the hospital, or I've notice that I've limp or whatever and they'll say okay and they'll try to go back and um, do whatever they can to uncover the mystery so yeah. I guess that's <laughs> but of course yeah it's interesting I wonder too like where they're switching it up this year with that kind of format yeah. how well they're going to do with it <laughs> yeah I know it's, it's, it's definitely a bit different this year too where it's just like where I usually am in, this, in the uh, office in mm. the examination room, but this year I'm at home in front of my computer, and it's oh. it's all it's so they're online. gonna do it through telehealth through Zoom, yeah, through yeah. Well, through Zoom, and they, so it's, uh, that's just a little uh, a little uh, let's say introductory session, but not just making sure that everyone knows how to use it and stuff, and everyone knows all the patients are like, patients are good with it, and understood how it worked and everything, so they'll just do that and then. So I'm not sure how they'll do because they didn't do well. The history will be the same, I guess, because it's not going to change where I am. But uh, physical, yeah. physical wise, I mean, I can't really. If I lie down, it'll be hard to do it. The uh, 
it's, I, I'd move my laptop away and some or my iPad and I just figured if I use my iPad if I use my laptop move it away and try to show them my my legs or whatever I'm doing like if I can lie down do stuff I don't know that's yeah that's I weird. wonder if they'll that's, have like altered checkup kind of status things like yeah, to yeah, check the, yeah that they, stuff they must that's your point they must they must have some maybe that's why Maybe that's why the doctor wants them to have the, the figure out what's on me via oh. via the questions and not me tell them because they'll use that as a better indication of the maybe they'll ask more pointy questions or not they mm. don't ask pointy questions pointy questions anyway but uh, they'll ask different style questions that'll help elicit answers that they'll figure out will be show more mm -hmm. like oh, I can do this or I can't do this or my left eye is slow my right eye is fine and my left arm left side is weaker than my right side or, or vice versa I don't want to give anything, like, give anything away to people who may hear this but um, mm -hmm. I also figured that people who may hear this would also easily just chat with their friends and the, <laughs> who examined me mm -hmm. on Monday so I'm not going to worry about that um, yeah. but um yeah, uh, so I don't know. That's going to be, to be interesting to see what happens. What they're gonna, what they're gonna ask, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know about how many participants they usually have? There are. Let's see. In the in the ology, I mean, this is my first ology session, and it's the first one for everyone for this year. I I assume mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it is, and. Uh, and I mean, they don't go till much past, but they'll do it one week or maybe two week, one week. I'll say, let's say two, let's say two week. They do two week until mid December, I guess. Until they take off the oh. holidays, I guess. Then and uh, there are about six people per six people per or six five. It's a few people. Six, let's say let's say six per. Students, yeah, six students per group. They have mm -hmm. like, but it's man, it's second second year. They're all second year students, right? So mm -hmm. second year man is about say what sixty. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't, I'm, just oh. gonna, I'm just gonna guess. I yeah. assume. And then, because then in the in the winter term, in starting in January, I'll do. I go in just one person does the history and stuff like that. They spend, so it's just, there's this term, it's just them figuring out the length of a doctor. And when we go in there, at, uh, after in the winter term, it's just, I go in and uh, they ask me, they do the same, same gamut of tests and stuff and same questions, you know, type, type, same types of questions. And uh, it's just them, it's just the student and me. And then they're so I going to say Monday and do the thing with, and then, and then on Wednesday I'll go in again and do the they'll they'll present to a doctor saying, you know, this is Nick Mercer. He's well, he's forty years old. And he's had a you know brain injury and blah blah blah. blah. And he, he ended up uh, and they'll they'll they'll, they'll tell the whole history and stuff and yada mm. yada yada. So, but uh, and I do that. I mean, if I do it alone, that they do it just one person at once. So I go in so. It's, one session is like a week, and let's do it like Monday. Going Monday, they present me. Wednesday, they present me to the doctor. I guess Friday I can go in again, but I've not ever done that. But I guess I could, and then just repeat. So I'm gonna do probably mm -hmm. what ten, because it goes like from it goes from you know, like January, late January to like late April, I guess. Yeah. To get it now, so it's. And hmm. only one, only one person. So it's, but that's only like ten people. So, but there's a bunch more people. Obviously, and it's ten, ten people in one med school second year is not really gonna cut it. To the, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they say. They think like your symptoms or causes are. Yeah, oh, I wonder yeah. if they'll touch on anything you've never considered before. Yeah, well, because they're it's like, like I said, like in the term they do the whole like, you go in and present, and then they'll say this is. Nick and he has this and this and this. They'll present. They'll, they'll say this and they'll ask me questions. They'll ask. Then they'll present to the doctor on Wednesday. 
but their they don't their doctor doesn't know anything more about me than I do than they do. I mean, mm-hmm. most times doctor meet me if any me, meeting me for the first time too. So, yeah. and uh, this time the doctor's with them, so they can't really they don't have to present again. They'll just say they don't have to figure out what's wrong with me, and then and then present on Wednesday. They'll say what they think my problem is, and the doctor will have a always has a very you know keen eye, thankfully. They're and they're mm-hmm. they're good at figuring out what's. But I, said, oh, I bet you can't do this. I bet you can't. I bet you have trouble with this. I bet you this problem's in it. Like, yes, that's right. And then, like, so, especially in all just. Yeah. How was your cat? It was. <laughs> what's what's his what his or her name? Of your Sunny. Cat? Sunny. Oh, yeah, yeah those. I, yeah, that's all I have for. Yeah, that's my cat's name. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but those lines. Yeah. He usually doesn't meow if I'm talking, but apparently today he's <laughs> upset. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it's um, interesting because I never knew that Mun did this with their patients, but I guess it makes sense. Yeah. It'll just be really neat with COVID, though, like how they have to do it through Zoom now. Cause yeah. Because as I was telling you before I jumped on this call, I was actually on a telehealth service yeah. call, and, and I how, found it super and how, did, how did that work? <laughs> what did they – they just asked you just like questions about like just how yeah. you feeling and are you coughing up phlegm or are you you so fever? Really, there's this app, I guess, or it's on a website, uh, Medicuro. It's an online clinic. Um, it's Newfoundland Labrador specific too, so it's doctors okay. from here around here. You it's can St. John's, I yeah, and yeah. um, it's through. You can go through MCP as well, which is awesome. Uh, Cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So um, I just kind of like. MCP. A lot of people are MCP is our health insurer. Health card. Yeah. Not our provincial health, health insurance. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. help me much because I'm still a New Brunswick resident. Oh, yeah. But... What's your what's your school? <laughs> uh, Medicare. Oh, it's Medicare. Because in Ontario, in Ontario, it's all hip. And uh, yeah. BC, I never got one. But MCP no. and HIP are HIP, oh, I know. And yeah. Everywhere is different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but even without um, a card, it's only forty dollars for a visit, which nice. could save you the money of a cab, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, yeah, because so, your car, cause your car is out of, I can wish you now too, right? So. Yeah, yeah, my car's still out of commission, but yeah. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was really interesting because uh, I signed up, and within half an hour, he gave me a call back, and it was just on the phone. Oh, so what's the what's the video? <laughs> What? It wasn't video. No, no. He just called me on the phone. I guess if he needed to see something, like, he kind of just believed when I said, like, I have X, yeah. Y, and Z. Yeah. But if he needed to see, like, if I had an open sore, I imagine, he'd be like, oh, okay, like, we're going to switch to a video format. But um, a friend of mine, actually, she told me about it today because she's up in uh, Goose Bay, rural oh, community, yeah. and yeah. finds it much harder to get into a doctor and that kind of thing. So she uses this source all the time and highly recommend because, wow, like <laughs> nice. that was the fastest nice. I've ever seen by a doctor. So Excellent. that's, that's great. Yeah. 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 yeah like you're saying, like, it's been interesting with the, like, I had never heard of this program either, but of course I found out just, like I told you, being the, through my, 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 my doctor said, you know, it'd be a good, good, but I guess because she probably, I don't know, she had never seen her be a tutor but uh maybe because we know each other and they're she's mm-hmm. like oh i can't be in the same room as this guy because i know him and they'll they'll you know they'll be able to tell tell people more yeah. than they blah blah so uh but uh so maybe she did that she probably did it before because i've seen a bunch of different i see different doctors every time i go there they have mm-hmm. different doctors basically doing the whole tutoring thing so yeah but uh yeah, I just found out in what twenty eighteen, twenty well, twenty seventeen, I guess she said that, and then I had cancer, and then I had to delay my start. <laughs> but um, or did I? Did I do it before? I, no, I did. Did I, did I do it before I had cancer? No, I didn't. I don't think I did it before I had cancer. No, but they just asked me about. I'm this up with just about neurology, so mm. I'm gonna. I'll tell them about cancer. They ask. They ask like how your bowels, how your how's your guy, your guts, and like. Oh, they're they're not there. They're pretty good, <laughs> but uh, well, they are there. Some of them, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. But um, you know, I, so be interesting to see what they say about my 
what you said, you said like what different because it's only second year soon, so now it's the I can know about what different conditions, conditions that could be. So we mm-hmm. actually kind of more trying to see the, what the doctor says. Yeah. The doctor's like, oh, he could have this or could have this or. Um, yeah, because I found out about the, this new, not new condition, but this is not new at all, but like new to me. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see maybe next time we chat too like once you've gone through the process how it went yeah 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 and kind of only... discuss how the zoom and everything and if it was better or worse or awkward kind of thing to try to communicate with them yeah no i think it's a good, a good idea me being like the new year sometime because i want to wait till after i don't want to do too many of these of like mm. describing with the four neurology patients but when neurology patients are gone then i can then I can just, and they're gonna, the rest of the patients will just know my history just by me telling them. Then I can, then I'll feel free to just talk about what they ask. But uh, yeah, mm. I think it'd be very interesting just to find out. Like, well, I mean, help, I mean, it should, it should just see tomorrow what they, as to how it goes and what exactly. It's, they'll probably learn at the same time I am. So they'll be like, okay, can I ask them to do this or can I? They'll be soon. I can see you soon saying. Can you do this? Can you move your your iPad here or there? Can yeah. we see your legs or your arms or your whatever? And uh, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be a learning experience for all of us. And uh, yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. I think I'm not looking looking forward to it, but I'm actually <laughs> I'm interested interested in really finding out what, how it goes. And uh, yeah, because yeah. it truly is the new way of medicine now. It, it has to be yeah. a lot of things virtual, and these are going to be the doctors of tomorrow. So exactly, it's a, yeah, it's a great so it's, thing. It's a good, it's a good, it's a rude, rude, way, rude way to introduce it, but uh, it's a good way to you know, get good thing to get started. And people can, so people from like in like rural. Oh, sorry, did my my speaker now? Okay, good, and um, like rural communities, people who can't get mm-hmm. get uh. Get, it's just easy access, or that's my, my speaker on the weird, but it has easy access to medical professionals as we mm-hmm. do here in St. John's and, and in other cities and capital regions. Capital regions. Um, but yeah, but people like your friend, your friend in Goose Bay, like be, the uh, tel- telehealth and video and these video calls be, like I said, like the way of the future, the new, the new yeah. way is going to have to go. If you want to get real, really make use of this, of the, of the power, power of of Zoom and and Skype and video conferencing and all that stuff, so. Yeah, and I wonder too, like for patients who get quite anxious in hospitals or going to see a doctor, like yeah. if it will yeah. help them, because then it's like you're not even leaving your house, like you're yeah, still comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that's what that's what. I'm, I mean, I'm not I'm not seeing a real dog on the real doctor. I am, but I, I seem like a. Professional, well, actually, they're not doctors yet because it's only second year. But I am yeah. seeing one doctor. But I'm, but I'm, I mean, I'm not going for a diagnosis tomorrow, so mm. I'm not gonna be as anxious. But I'm not, I'm not that I'm not that anxious is not in my makeup really. But uh, anxiety. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, but yeah, but I mean, like I said, I think it'll be, it'd be. I mean, I, I can't see it hurting. I can't see it being a, because you're sick. If you're just doing this conference hall at home, you can just say, "Oh, well, you need to get water, and you need to bath." They don't feel bad about doing any of that because you're at home. Whereas, if you're like in a hospital, maybe in your and waiting time, wait times is one thing everyone laments about doctors. And uh, if mm-hmm. you can just be at home, it's not really waiting; it's just being at home, staying down. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, yeah, that's. I think that's that's really good uh, aspect of it for sure. So. Yeah, no, that's great. Like, I'm really interested to hear more about how the process goes and everything because I didn't realize it was going to be online yeah. and all of that. But yeah, it's really good training for them and to like be able to actually work with uh, survivors and everything. Like, I yeah. imagine yeah. most of the neurology cases they have come in would be brain injury survivors that the medicine community knows. Yes, but also, and yeah. also other conditions oh, like such as like epilepsy and uh, mm. and stroke and yeah. And I found another one. Uh, 
which I'll, I'll, talk, I'll ask you about, I talked about it after a bench dash after because it's a general one that I had never heard before so it's interesting that I don't want to mention it because it's interesting to see other people what their students can figure it out because it's one that they probably had heard before either but it's mm. I mean it's and uh yeah so uh but I mean but at the at the branch association were you do you Generally, 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 clients with us have had a brain aneurysm uh, and those would be non-traumatic kind of things but yeah. and like stroke patients as well have been with us and joined us um for the most part too though there is a lot of other resources i can point them towards That's good. Um, so like there's epilepsy society of newfoundland labrador and many other nonprofits that are willing to step in and help out so it's like yeah. if we don't yeah. exactly have the resources or sources to point them towards i can reject colleagues within the area and help them out in that way, which is and nice. And you're, you're telling me before that you had uh, meetings with the, uh, the other nonprofits, other in the sector layer every week or every two weeks, or how is it every week? Yeah, every second Tuesday. Every second Tuesday? And do you still have good relations with, good relations with all other nonprofits and, yeah, and yeah. just so general all, health, health nonprofits or something? Yeah. It's just the health nonprofits or is it just everyone? Uh, it's pretty much all the ones that would be helping um, anyone within the disability community kind of thing. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be all encompassing together, but like Empower NL, which is the Disability Resource Center type, um, Epilepsy, Newfoundland, Labrador, Learning Disabilities, uh, People First, the Autism Society, Trying to go through the list as to see them, Heart of Hearing Association, Stuttering Association, all of them. Like it's huge the amount of people that come on our oh, call. Oh, yeah, okay. but it's really great because sometimes, for example, people will go to the Autism Society with uh, someone who's had a brain injury and is very low functioning, and they're like, "Is there any methods that you know of that we could use?" And she'll refer them to me because she'll be all like, right. "Well, technically, mm-hmm. that's a brain injury, and you could talk to this girl as well." Like. Okay. Yeah, and she's like, we do have some things, but obviously if you want specific to a brain yeah. injury, autism, we can put you in touch with them. And if I get a case where someone comes up to me and it's like, oh, well, I've been suffer X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, well, epilepsy is one of those things, and there's a whole society that would be much more yeah, yeah. than maybe my organization. Right. So we always look for ways to connect the patients to the best possible resource we can and we've even chatted about possibly having a central community space where we could work out of and have like as meeting spots so all right have like a little hub like like a intensive care unit almost the words like people not like not they not not intensive in that sense but like just a central (laughs) hub where you say like okay that room is that room is that you know the way they're designed physically designed Yeah. yeah Yeah, so we've like chatted about that a bit, so that might be something that'll come in the future, hopefully. Good, but, nice, nice. And uh, so speaking of Brangy Association in Finland, Labrador, um, what's going on there? I don't know this week and just or just now in general. Yeah, so our fifty-fifty draw is still on the go. Uh, we're recruiting some volunteers for some new committees. We've got social media fundraising and an HR and public relations committee. And if you um, want, people want to volunteer for that, how do they, what do they do? Get in touch with me. It would be coordinator at nlbia.ca. And that's my email. Would just shoot me an email and I can send you the volunteer package and some information. Uh, essentially, we've just been trying to revamp our website, social media content, work with our ambassadors, which is a program, and get some video content going out. So hopefully trying to get presentations available in a video format that we can send to schools because we still right. can't do them. Yeah. yeah. A lot of new things in the new year, hopefully coming up for fundraisers and all that. 
just with Christmas coming up and all of that, we're not really going to start anything new right now. But well, that's a good, good plan, yeah. And yeah. if people want to buy, people want to buy fifty fifty tickets as your for a fundraiser for NLBIA. How do they how do they do that? Uh, yeah, they can email me again at the email I said before, and then also find us on Facebook, NL Brain Injury Association, and then they could send a message through there, and they'll see our contact number on there as well. Great. Well, I mean, I guess that's it for uh, for me this week. I mean, I got nothing. Darren, do you have anything else to add, or just no? Nope. Nope? Okay, so we'll uh, week well, trying to recover. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Hopefully, you'll uh. Do you, have, do, you have, uh, do you have the stuff you can get for that now? Like you have... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go out to the pharmacy soon. Oh, yes, yes, right. Excellent. Well, uh, yes, hopefully you uh, feel better this week. And uh, you sound better than you. you. Look, you sound better and not as hard as you were on even Friday. We had the <laughs> phone call with the McGill students, Emily and Taya. And uh, mm-hmm. you seem more rested now. So they said, hopefully you got some rest and... Pie and Sunny didn't keep you up too late. I don't see Sunny anymore. Sunny, I think, was that your window? Was he? Cause, was it he or she? Oh, she's got to stand there. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, well, uh, thank you so much, and uh, everyone for listening, and uh, I'll let Erin sign off if she wants to just get their first sign off of our first <laughs> real one together, I guess. Goodness, I didn't prepare, <laughs> prepare anything, but thank you so much all for listening, and thank you, Nick, for having me. But... Great. Well, thanks, Aaron, and thank you all. Concussion Talk Podcast is presented by Head Check Health. Head Check Health bridges the gaps in concussion care through simple, powerful technology. To our organizations like the Canadian Football League, Track Factory Racing, the Canadian Junior Hockey League, Eastern Washington University, and Volleyball Canada, who rely on HeadShake Health to improve communication and optimize care. Visit HeadShakeHealth.com for more. Music at the beginning of this podcast is by Ben Sound. www.bensound.com <laughs>